Sleep Physiology Introduction The sleep-wake cycle is a vital part of the body's circadian rhythm. A circadian rhythm refers to the approximately 24-hour cycle that regulates many physiological processes in living organisms, including humans. These rhythms are controlled by an internal biological clock that is influenced by external factors such as light, temperature, and social cues. Their circadian rhythm plays an important role in regulating sleep-wake cycles, hormone production, metabolism, and other bodily functions. Disruptions to the circadian rhythm, such as those caused by shift work or jet lag, can have negative effects on health and well-being. Before we take a deep dive into sleep physiology, let's discuss what it means to be awake. Wakefulness is a state of consciousness characterized by alertness, attention, and being able to respond to stimuli. One of the key regions of the brain involved in wakefulness is the reticular activating system, which is located in the brainstem. The reticular activating system receives sensory input from the environment and sends signals to the thalamus and cortex to activate and maintain wakefulness. Neurotransmitters such as norepinephrine, dopamine, acetylcholine, and histamine are also involved in regulating wakefulness. These neurotransmitters are produced by different regions of the brain and act on specific receptors to modulate arousal, attention, and other aspects of wakefulness. The hypothalamus is another important region involved in regulating wakefulness. It produces hormones, such as orexin and cortisol, which help to maintain wakefulness and regulate the sleep-wake cycle. Sleep is defined as a recurring normal state of inactivity, transient suspension of consciousness, and diminished responsiveness to external stimuli. Normal is important to distinguish it from coma. Sleepiness is driven by the homeostatic sleep drive, need for sleep. It operates much like a pressure tank. The longer a person is awake, the more the pressure to sleep builds and the sleepier the person feels. Once asleep, deep sleep is restorative, regenerating the body's energy, concentration, and focus. During deep sleep, the blood pressure drops, breathing slows, and muscles relax, sort of a mini version of the hibernation that bears use during the winter. Stages of Sleep Sleep is composed of several stages that are distinguished by specific physiological and behavioral characteristics. These stages are classified as non-rapid eye movement sleep and rapid eye movement sleep. The first cycle lasts roughly 70 to 100 minutes with the most time spent in the non-rapid eye movement sleep stages. All subsequent sleep cycles last about 90 to 120 minutes. During each cycle, we transition from non-rapid eye movement sleep to rapid eye movement sleep before experiencing a brief arousal period. This brief arousal does not result in a full awakening, at least in good sleepers. After the brief arousal, a new sleep cycle begins. On average, we experience four to six sleep cycles per night. Non-rapid eye movement sleep. Non-rapid eye movement sleep is characterized by a reduction in muscle tone and metabolic activity. It's further divided into three stages, N1, N2, and N3. Stage N1, also known as stage one, marks the transition between wakefulness and sleep, and is characterized by slow eye movements and reduced muscle tone. During this stage, the brain waves become slower and more synchronized, and people may experience sudden muscle contractions or hypnic jerks. N1 is transient and makes up 2 to 3% of total sleep time. Electroencephalogram shows low frequency, 4 to 7 Hz, theta waves. Stage N2, also known as stage 2, represents a deeper stage of sleep characterized by the presence of sleep spindles and K complexes. Sleep spindles are brief bursts of brain activity that occur during N2 sleep, while K-complexes are sharp, high-amplitude waveforms that occur in response to sensory stimuli. This stage typically lasts for 45-55% to 55 of the total sleep in adults. Teeth grinding, bruxism, is often seen during stage N2. Electroencephalogram shows waves with frequency 12 to 14 hertz called sleep spindles and high voltage biphasic waves called K complexes are also seen. Stage N3, also known as stage three, is the deepest stage of non-rapid eye movement sleep, so also known as slow wave sleep. 
It's characterized by slow, high-amplitude delta waves, which indicate a profound reduction in brain activity. During this stage, it's difficult to wake a person, and they may feel groggy or disoriented upon waking. It constitutes approximately 22% of total sleep time. During this period, vitals such as breathing rate, heart rate, and blood pressure are at the lowest levels. This is the most restorative stage of sleep. Electroencephalogram displays low frequency, 0.5 to 4 hertz, high amplitude, and delta waves begin to appear. Clinical Correlation One important clinical aspect of N3 sleep is that certain sleep disorders occur specifically in this stage and must be differentiated from seizures. These slow-wave sleep parasomnias include confusional arousals, nocturnal anoresis, bedwetting, night terrors, different from REM dreams, and sleepwalking, some embolism. Note. Non-rapid eye movement sleep is divided into three stages, with a fourth stage sometimes recognized as well. Stage 4, Non-Rapid Eye Movement Sleep It's also known as delta sleep or slow wave sleep. It's a stage of deep sleep that typically occurs during the first part of the night. During stage 4, Non-Rapid Eye Movement Sleep, brain waves become slower and there's a decrease in heart rate, breathing, and blood pressure. This stage of sleep is characterized by the presence of delta waves, which are slow, high-amplitude brain waves that are synchronized and occur at a frequency of less than 4 hertz. Stage 4 non-rapid eye movement sleep is important for the body to restore and repair itself, and is thought to be particularly important for physical growth, immune function, and the consolidation of memories. Rapid Eye Movement Sleep Rapid eye movement sleep is characterized by rapid eye movements, muscle paralysis, and vivid dreams. Muscle atonia. Rapid eye movement sleep is also characterized by muscle atonia, which is a temporary paralysis of the muscles. This paralysis is thought to be caused by the inhibition of motor neurons in the spinal cord, which prevents the body from acting out the movements associated with vivid dreams. Muscles that do not undergo atonia during rapid eye movement sleep are extraocular muscles and diaphragm. Hormonal changes. During rapid eye movement sleep, there is an increase in the secretion of hormones such as cortisol, prolactin, and testosterone. These hormones are involved in a range of physiological processes including stress response, lactation, and sexual function. Brain activity. During rapid eye movement sleep, brain activity is similar to that of the waking state, with high levels of activity in the frontal and temporal lobes, hippocampus, and amygdala. It's the stage of sleep in which the brain is most active, and it's essential for memory consolidation and emotional regulation. This stage is when people have dreams and nightmares. During rapid eye movement sleep, the brain waves are similar to those seen during wakefulness, and the body undergoes several physiological changes, including an increase in heart rate, blood pressure, and respiration. The muscles of the body, except for the diaphragm and eye muscles, are paralyzed during rapid eye movement sleep, which prevents people from acting out their dreams. Ponto geniculo occipital spikes. These spikes are electrical impulses that occur during rapid eye movement sleep. They are named after the three areas of the brain where they're most prominent, the pons, the lateral geniculate nucleus, and the occipital cortex. These large phasic potentials are highly characteristic of rapid eye movement sleep. During rapid eye movement sleep, the brain becomes highly active, and ponto geniculo occipital spikes are one of the ways in which this activity is expressed. They are believed to be involved in the generation of visual and auditory hallucinations that occur during dreaming, and they may also play a role in the consolidation of memories and learning. Aging and Sleep Total sleep time tends to decrease with age. While newborns may sleep for more than 15 hours per day, elderly people may only sleep for 7 to 8 hours per night. Sleep Fragmentation as we get older, we tend to wake more often during the night. This can lead to a fragmented sleep pattern with less time spent in each sleep cycle. Rapid Eye Movement Sleep Rapid eye movement sleep, which is associated with dreaming, tends to decrease with age. Newborns may spend up to 50% of their time in rapid eye movement sleep, 
while older adults may only spend around 20% of their sleep time in this stage. N3, non-rapid eye movement sleep stage. The deepest stage of non-rapid eye movement sleep, known as N3, tends to become less common as we age. Many elderly people may spend virtually no time in this stage of sleep. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.